I would say that pilots at the current rate of, you know, tech innovation is they're worried, you know, their jobs are kind of, they're barreling towards the direction of being automated. And that's terrifying too, right? Do you, do, how much do you know about that? Because I know there's like the tech co-pilot concept that's happening right now. And obviously you can't just not have a real human being in the cockpit, but I could see, I don't know, 10, 15 years, they're just flying the planes, people list. What does that look like? Yeah, so on commercial air airlines, uh, there is a requirement to have two pilots. There has been a push towards changing the rules to maybe only allowing one pilot to fly the plane if there was technology sufficient enough to take over. Uh, I don't see that happening. I think that that's probably too much. And I don't think that people will feel comfortable knowing the computer is flying the plane because if something goes wrong, you're going to want a trained human there. And honestly, and just using all the AI tools now, there's so much times that the AI just gets stuff wrong, to be candid. I was running some searches the, uh, the other day trying to do some travel planning, and it was just wrong. It was just bad data. It was trained on bad data. It didn't pull the right data from the internet. So you really have to double check the AI these days. So, and then there's a... a bill out there or there's legislation that is trying to reduce the amount of hours that someone has to train on to become a pilot, which is also kind of terrifying. They're like, maybe you don't need 2000 hours. Maybe you only need 500 and sure, go fly Whoa, this plane of 170 big... people. Did um, you make that not, up or I, is that real? No, I'm not exact. I'm not exactly sure of the numbers. We'll have to look it up, but it <laughs> was it was basically a lowering of the bar for how many flight hours that you need to be a pilot. 